Even with the utmost care, items in your garden decor collection can get damaged. There are many excellent materials that are available that will help fix your item and expand its lifespan. Some repairs can be easily done with silicone while others may require some glues and some epoxies that will bring your item back to life. For this repair we're going to be using some glues and some epoxy putty. It's also good to have available some common tools for cleaning and preparation. As this item is only partially broken inside we're going to remove it from the base and build something to put it back together. We'll make sure we remove any of the old debris before we start cleaning and preparing the area for reassembly. Surface preparation is very important as is getting a level surface to mount our feature back into the plate. We're going to cut some styrofoam to build a base inside this hollow piece. We've chosen LePage's PL Premium Adhesive for this job. We've had excellent results with it. With any of these repair materials, we highly recommend using some nitrile gloves during the process. Be sure to wipe off any of the excess and then check one last time before it cures to make sure that it's level inside this hollow part. After following and perhaps exceeding the recommended cure times of the glue, we're now ready to fill the open areas and gaps. We highly recommend the Odie Fix-It Stick or Epoxy Putty for this part of the job. Again, recommending the use of gloves, you'll find this to be an excellent material to work with. The key is, is to knead it into small pieces and making sure that you properly distribute the resin and the hardener to get one solid color before you start to apply it into these open areas. As this material starts to set within 5 to 10 minutes, we recommend doing it in stages, doing small pieces at a time, and continue to add more and fill the open area. Doing this repair in stages helps to build a stronger and better bond overall. And one of the advantages of it setting up in this time period is that you're then able to come in with a knife or other material and texture the area to match the surrounding area. This includes trimming off some of the higher areas to better disguise the repair. We've placed our spill feature back into the holder, but we're going to use that epoxy to build up even higher to make a more secure repair. We recommend a minimum of 8 hours cure time before we move on to our painting process. We've had great success with the Rust-Oleum brand 2X Ultra Cover. It's available in a wide range of colors and it's both a primer and a base coat. A thin coat of our gray base coat will be followed by a light blue using our dry brush process. One method is to use a cup or other vessel to spray a small amount of the paint. Dip your brush in and take out most of the paint so your brush is dry as the name implies and then feather it around the area that you're trying to match. We've added a little black to the base of the feature spout. We're also going to dry brush some white across a wider area to better disguise our repair. While it is admittedly difficult to get a 100% exact color match, we're satisfied with the result of this repair and we can get our fountain back into service. 